Anyone can make this dress, I bet you. Once you follow the steps I'll be showing you, you'll be on your way to a fabulous dress like this. Well, this is Hannah Tiga and I'll be making an A-line dress with ruffled hemline and sleeve. The dress was made for my daughter's birthday and she is absolutely made up. Now, I'll start the tutorial. I'll be making use of a taffeta fabric, as you can see. You want to fold your fabric over like this once, only once. The length of the fabric I have here is 60 inches and the width when folded is 17 inches. So you want to start off by drawing a line across like that. So that makes the shoulder point. That is the shoulder and it represents the start line as well. I'll be taking 7 inches for the neckline depth and 3.5 inches for the neckline width. I'll grab my ruler and draft out my V neck. If you want to go for round neck you can but this is a V neckline. Next, you want to add your shoulder measurement. Your shoulder measurement divided by two. Make the marking and you add your half an inch sewing allowance. Then you want to come down from that extra inch sewing allowance by one inch because we're going to draft our shoulder slope. Grab your ruler and draw the line. Now you want to add your armhole. So your armhole circumference divided by 2. Whatever you have, you want to draw it out in a straight line. You want to start from the shoulder slope and not from the start line. Start your measurement from the shoulder slope and make the marking. Now you want to take your shoulder to bust point measurement. So I'm taking 11 inches here from your shoulder to your bust point. Shoulder to your bust point again. And shoulder to your bust point there. Making sure it's all equal. Grab your ruler and roll the line. Now we're going to be adding our bust circumference measurement. Your bust circumference divided by 4. Make that marking. Add half an inch ease allowance. Then add 1 inch sewing allowance. We're going to be transferring that to the chest line. Right? So I'm going to be ruling a line on the chest line guys because we need to construct our ham hole now properly so i'm gonna draw out the chest line and transfer all that marking on the bust line over to it as you can see then i'm gonna draw out my ham hole first of all i'm gonna draft my front ham hole You want to find midpoints of that line, half of your hammer circumference. You want to find the midpoint of that front one there. That's the midpoint. 
come in by half an inch then properly draw out your front armhole that's it and for the back armhole you only need to connect it like that as easy as that now we want to add the length of the dress and I'm taking 32 inches here. The total length of the dress is 40 inches. But I'm going to mark 32 inches here. The 8 inches will be for the ruffle. So the 32 inches plus the 8 inches ruffle will make the 40 inches total dress length. Whatever your dress length is, subtract the ruffle allowance first draft out your dress then you can now add your ruffles to make the total length of your dress as you can see the connection is from the ham hole to the hem line you want to make sure to leave enough allowance for your a-line formation so you want to come up there by one inch at that edge or half an inch and cover it in now this is our front panel so what i'll do now is to add half an inch sewing allowance by the shoulder You want to come over to your hemline and add half an inch sewing allowance. This is the allowance you need to attach your ruffles. Grab your scissors and cut. So this is the front panel we're cutting now. And once we finish cutting, we're going to draft our back panel. You want to leave the armhole the way it is. Don't cut the front armhole yet. Just leave it the way it is. You can cut after we've drafted our back panel. For your zip allowance for the back panel, you want to take one inch like that. Just follow the guide. Follow what I'm doing. So you need your one inch for your zip allowance. And now you want to come down there by one inch. For the neck depth of the back panel and connect it to the 3.5 there so once that is done you want to construct your ham hole for the back panel also the neckline and the shoulder You want to grab your scissors now and cut your back panel. Once that is done, you want to cut out your ham O for your front panel. You want to cut your back panel open. Make the slit for your zip allowance. But in this case, I'll be using a hook and high. Once that is done, you want to cut out your facing for the front panel and your back panel. Now you want to measure the M line width. So you want to measure the M line of one of your panels and multiply it by six, only by six. That's the amount you need for your ruffles. The total length of the ruffle is 9.5 inches. 
when cut like this, half an inch to attach it to the dress itself and one inch for the hem allowance. So in total, I'm marking 9.5 inches here and this is what I have. Moving on to the sleeve, I drafted a basic sleeve with the desired length, then cut that out first. Also, I cut the area where I would attach the ruffle. I have a tutorial on ruffle sleeve on this channel, so you want to check that out. So one of the sleeve is ruffled and one of the sleeve is a regular sleeve as you can see. So I'm going to cut out another 9.5 inches in length ruffle for the sleeve. You need to take the measurement of where the ruffle will be on that sleeve and multiply by 3. So it will give you the width of the ruffle. The length of this ruffle is 9.5 same as the hemline i've gone ahead here to draft my applique for the dress to give it a lift so it's a good one if you want to draft the same very easy to make and i'm gonna be applying interfacing you definitely need an interfacing for this so make sure you do that you want to apply interfacing to your neckline facing as well. I need to show you this. For your back panel, at the back, you need to come in by the waistline by half an inch so that the dress doesn't puff out at the back. It is important you come in by at least half an inch. If you want, you can come in by one inch, but half an inch is enough. I went ahead and applied some rhinestones to give this a lift. Look at that, beautiful. So applied it to the dress, made a couple of roses as well. And look at the beautiful dress. I'm super excited about this project. And I can't wait to see what you make as well. I made a bow for the shoe. The shoe was plain black, but I transformed it and the shoe now matches the dress. If this video has been helpful, why don't you share it with someone else that will find this tutorial helpful. Also, subscribe if you haven't. Like and leave a comment. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, look after yourself guys and bye for now.